Hey you guys, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad to be back with another video for you guys. And today I am so grateful to be able to share my experiences with my spiritual journey with you guys. And yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit more comfortable and I'm actually going to film this video from where I meditate most of the time. I really wanted to do this video meditating outside, but Georgia's weather has literally been raining every day. And I'm not finna go put my tapestry out on no wet clay, cause Georgia doesn't have clay, I mean dirt, we have clay, okay? So, I haven't, I really wanted to film this video outside, you know, with the sun beating me down, cause I love to meditate outside, but Mother Nature, decided otherwise and I was ready for this video to get out so what I'm gonna do is take you guys to my meditation rug so yeah thank you for this video and if you're new here welcome I'm so glad that you're here and if you're back thank you for coming back and I just want you guys to learn as much as you can about spirituality because it definitely changed my life all right, you guys, so welcome to the floor of my bedroom at home. So I have this meditation rug. I'm going to insert a clip of what it looks like because from this angle, you guys can't really see it, but it's the same white fur rug that I've had that I bought um, last semester to actually meditate when I was in college. So this is the exact same um, rug, and this is where I meditate. It's really comfy, and I like the fact that it is right in front of the window that is in my room. So, you know, I can bring in light and just focus on the light and not just everything that's going on in my room or whatever's in my room. So, yeah, here we go. So I'm actually going to keep the camera closer to me while I'm talking and then, you know, when I actually do my demonstration on meditating, I'll back it up so you guys can see me in my full body. So, my spirituality has definitely shaped me and changed me into the woman I am destined to be in many ways. So as many of you know, I actually am a college student. I attend an HBCU in Middle Georgia and I went through some definite hardships while in my second year of college. So basically my third and fourth semester ever of college were a definite struggle for me. Um, just mentally, I wasn't at my best. And I experienced a lot of anxiety and mild depression. I'm not gonna say full depression because I was never, you know, suicidal. I, there were some days where I didn't wanna get out of bed and I didn't get out of bed, but I was never like suicidal or anything like that. Um, so I wouldn't classify it as full depression and I was never I never went to a doctor or a therapist or anything like that so I just know that it was anxiety for the most part so I would have days where I just felt like I wasn't good enough and I just didn't care like college was just way too hard for me something else that was hard for me is that all of the friends that I had my freshman year basically all dispersed like they didn't all leave the college but the ones that um, came back for the second year they all joined the band and it was just like I was by myself like I, I really didn't have that many friends so it was really hard for me because I was never a person that was alone like if you guys don't know I'm very close with my brother and sister and my family in general so with not having any of them around me it was definitely hard so I had to basically I had to get to my lowest point in order for me to achieve my highest point and start achieving my greatness and coming to the realization that I my passions in life and things like that so with having anxiety and the lack of friends and me just not opening up to anyone and actually talking to people about how I was feeling I just let myself get 
dig deeper into a hole and it was hard for me to get out of I'm not gonna lie like this has not been easy but it has definitely been worth it and I have learned so much about myself and about life that I feel the need to express my spirituality to others because I would never want anyone to feel the way I felt so because um because of my anxiety and you know the mild depression and just the fact of being alone I let myself go all the way and I'm not even talking about physically because definitely I I did gain weight I ate way too much you know the freshman 15 was more than 15 and I just let myself go physically mentally emotionally I was just through like college did a lot to me and I didn't really know how to get myself out of it so my grades started to suffer you know I started getting really bad acne because I was eating so much and I was also you know gaining weight so a lot like everything just kept spiraling and you know one day I just I just called my mom and like me and my mom have a really close relationship and I talk to her pretty much every day like when I'm yeah I talk to my mom every single day no matter if it's you know through just texting calling Facebook you know there's some sort of communication with my mother every single day but I hid it from her I hid it from both of my parents I didn't tell anyone you know from the outside it just looked like I was you know having fun in college living life you know it just looked like I was fine but on the inside I was not fine and being by myself um, in my dorm room I was not fine I used to cry a lot like a lot I used to cry a lot and it wasn't like a cry for like emotionally it was just it was a cry because I couldn't like you know how people be like I can't I can't like I just couldn't like it was just way too much so yeah I, I cried a lot <laughs> in my second year of college I definitely did but one day I kind of just called my mom and I just like burst it out into tears just full-on tears of like pure sadness I'm pretty sure my mom that's something that she'll probably never forget because I'm not the type of person to you know cry like that like she always seen me as a happy you know happy-go-lucky person I pretty much always had a very positive attitude but you know I let college get the best of me I definitely did that was a breaking point for me because you know I had to she was the first person I really told like no one really knew about this like now I'm, I'm free to talk about it because that point of my life is not with me anymore and I don't go through that stuff like I when I tell you I'm a changed person 100% I'm a changed person so I don't really like to bring it up as much but now I feel the need to because just me talking about it a little bit has brought upon questions from other people from young girls you know college students high schoolers just people in general about spirituality and I feel like I need to be a voice for others because you can help you can get help from for yourself you can do it by yourself and get help for yourself that's what I did of course I'm not you know a, I didn't do this on my own like 100% because I had my mom of course and then I started once I started getting into my spirituality I met good people started coming into my life basically that's what happened so after I had that talk with my mom I just you know I was trying to look for ways to make myself happier so you know I don't I don't really exactly remember what I did at first but I do definitely remember being on Twitter one day and I really wish I knew who it was that tweeted this and I wish I could thank them but I saw on Twitter how someone else was going through anxiety and depression and she went to you know meditation in order to help herself so I was like, well, you know, if she meditated and it helps her feel better about herself in life, why can't that be the same results for me? So you know me, I go to YouTube, the great, the second largest search engine in the world, the greatest thing in the world. And I just typed in um, meditation. And then once I started seeing like talk, people talking about how meditation helped their lives, I 
eventually with research I learned about guided meditation and um, with guided meditation it you know made me just get into meditation and the first time I meditated I, I was just in I sat on the floor in my dorm room and turned on the guided meditation and just let it all sink in and I did everything they did you know with mantras speaking out loud clearing my mind clearing my thoughts things like that and I felt amazing like I felt like it was something I should be doing so I just started meditating two three times a day um, I would meditate in the morning um, when I had a break through my classes and then when I go to sleep so for me, when I started out, um, I just you did the guided meditations and I just did them over and over. I would ch choose some because there's like there's tons and tons of guided meditation. So you could have guided meditation to relax, to sleep, to feel better about yourself. And I stumbled across Law of Attraction, you guys. Law of Attraction. Law of Attraction has changed my life indefinitely. Like because of you know meditation i found law of attraction through law of attraction i just started building on my spirituality and learning more about everything like i'm still in the learning process of course i don't think i'm at my highest level of being especially not with spirituality and you know just everything i'm still learning but I am taking these steps forward every single day in my life. Ever since I decided to take my spirituality seriously, my life has changed so much. I feel so much better about life. I have found my passions in life. I have a clearer idea of what I want to do with my degree. And, you know, I have bigger goals and bigger dreams for myself. And through my spirituality, I have just learned to push myself. And I know that whatever I want to do with my life is definitely possible possible so it has been about a year since I you know started meditating and going on my spiritual journey and I can tell you that it has definitely changed my life so if you're someone you don't have to be a college student but if you're someone who is just going through a lot going through anxiety not feeling good enough um, that I'm, I promise you it will help you because once you learn that you control your life, you control your destiny, you control every ounce of being that you are, your life will change because if you change the way you think, you change the things you do and change will come about, about into your life. And that is one of the, the main factors and main components of Law of Attraction. Um, I'm still learning. I'm actually actually reading this book. It's called The Complete Idiot's Guide to Law of Attraction. And it's just helping me. Like, I watch plenty of... Oh, here's the book, you guys. So, I watch plenty of videos on YouTube of people talking about Law of, Attra law of Attraction. But I felt like, for me, um, to actually learn Law of Attraction, I needed to read up on it. And through my spiritual journey, I have learned that reading is one of the greatest aspects in life and it will help you become the person you are supposed to be and it's not just reading fictional books it's reading books that are going to help you um books that are going to teach you things and show you that you can do anything in your life so those type of books everyone always says you should read at least 10 minutes a day any successful person reads 10 minutes a day so um, if you don't want to necessarily start on your spiritual journey right away you know just start reading up on it and then it could it'll it'll maybe push you into actually getting into it more um, another tool I've learned through um, so my spirituality and law of attraction is that we need to start writing things down more we need to start writing down our goals writing down things you want to do and accomplish in life, just writing down your goals in general. There's a lot of people um, that they'll write their um, goals down in their notes on their iPhone or iPad or whatever, but you know, I'm kind of old fashioned and um, through my spiritual journey, I have learned that we have to express gratitude every single day, no matter if it's from the littlest thing to the biggest thing. So what I went ahead and did, and I got myself a gratitude journal. So it's just a regular journal, but 
I decided to write down things I'm grateful for. It's it's really, I have made it into just a journal, but it's a gratitude journal because there will only be positivity in this book. And expressing gratitude for my life and the life that I live and the life that I am creating for myself. Um, so, in the front, it just says, Journey Johnson's Gratitude Journal started May 13th, 2017. And I have a quote in here, it says, you have more than enough time to accomplish all that you want in this lifetime. So that is a mantra that I have picked up. Um, and yeah, I think I got that mantra from a Shameless Maya video. Oh, you guys, if you do not know who Shameless Maya is, please go subscribe to her on YouTube. She is amazing. I, I have learned so much from her, not only for YouTube, but life, you know, my spiritual journey, meditation, everything. I love Shameless Maya so, 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 so much. So you guys really need to go and watch her videos because she has helped me. And, you know, um, I'll actually list below some other YouTubers that I watch that um, teach me about my spirituality, law of attraction, and definitely some links to um, some great starter guided meditations, okay? And then I have the first three pages of this book are my goals. Um, you know, it's kind of personal, so I don't really want to read my goals out loud. But, you know, I have goals from, you know, for my future, things I want to happen right now. Um, really, you know, just every, just, just my goals, just my goals in life. They're all at the beginning of this book. And then after my goals, I have basically an excerpt of gratitude. So it says, gratitude is an expression of appreciation and the quality of being thankful. And then it says, when practicing gratitude, we are training ourselves to easily feel the emotion of gratitude so we can see the good in life rather than focusing on the negative. And when you guys start your um, spiritual journey and you start learning more about the law of attraction, you will learn that you have to speak positivity into your life if you want positivity to come to your life. So we have to stop speaking negatively on ourselves and others. I know sometimes it can be hard, but it's something that you definitely have to do because I am not fully there yet because if you follow me on Snapchat, you know, a few days ago, I kind of... I had just a really petty moment for someone that I really didn't have to do that, but I did. Like I did, but I didn't because he needed to be read. Like some there's there's certain people that no one ever tells them. You know, you know the things they say or the way they say it is 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 not okay. So they feel like they should um, they can still do it. So you know, out of frustration and you know just irritation I did something that I probably shouldn't have done but you know you can't take it back it's already done but anyways but I do need to get better with that because I can't let what people say about me really affect my life like honestly it doesn't but it felt super 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 personal from this person so it was kind of like oh I'm not gonna let you do that you got me messed up type deal but you know I'm growing every day. I'm growing daily. I'm not the same person I was three days ago. So, you know. But anyways, back to gratitude. And then I have another quote in here. It says, you can rewire your brain to be happy by simply recalling three things you're grateful for every day for 21 days. And then it says, write in this journal every night before bed three things you are grateful for throughout the day. And then the last thing it says, you deserve a fulfilled and happy life. And I honestly and truly believe that. So when I first started, I definitely just went um, a few days, like it was like almost two weeks of me just literally writing down um, the three things I was grateful for in that day. And I would say just like, I'm grateful for bullet point, bullet point, bullet point. So that's what I did for like about two weeks. And then one day, um, something kind of tragic happened to me and someone that I was really close with passed away. And for me, it was kind of hard. Um, I was crying a lot. Like, um, my mom had to, you know, comfort me at this time because it was like, it was kind of abrupt. And he was a very influential person in my life. So I was, I was really 
like sad like I was very 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 sad and I hadn't felt sadness in a really long time so when it hit me it hit me like a ton of bricks and I just couldn't stop crying and so I decided to write in my journal um, and that definitely helped me so instead of this just being a strictly gratitude journal I decided to make it a journal in general because I know writing helps heal in a lot of ways so um yeah so now I just I don't just write the three things I'm grateful for I'll write you know if something happened in my day anything I want to express feel out just write out instead of saying or doing anything uh, you know brash um, I probably should have written in my journal that day but you know life is the best of you so um, but yeah so now I just I write this I write in my gratitude journal um, now I'm not a perfect person and some days I do forget to write and it's not that I, do, I forget it's just like I don't necessarily want to but I'm gonna change that I'm gonna start writing more and more because it definitely has helped me in my spiritual journey so if that's something you guys want to do um, just have a journal or a gratitude journal you know that's an amazing like that's it's just amazing it's definitely helped me so that was kind of just an overview of my spiritual journey and you know what has led me to this video and to you guys today so you know it's it's definitely hard um, my spiritual journey was never easy I did a lot of research uh, YouTube helped me so much so if you guys think you can't do it YouTube is a free source you can definitely use it to your advantage and just do your research and learn and you know start thinking clearer and meditating is the main factor of you know my spirituality um, so speaking of meditation I'm going to start getting into it and show you guys how I actually meditate and I'm not gonna meditate with guided meditation I'm gonna just meditate and it to some people it can be kind of weird but really it's just about centering your emotions and yourself and clearing your mind so you know you have to be you know somewhere where it's quiet and somewhere where you can just sit down and focus like you don't have to have a rug like me you can just literally sit on your floor because before I got this rug that's what I did I just sat on my floor in my dorm room and um, looked out to the window because I would always I would always just make sure I looked out into the window have my window open with the blinds open and look out my window but you know you're gonna be closing your eyes and things like that so you're not really gonna be looking at <laughs> out the window um so yeah let's get into meditating all right you guys so before we get into actually meditation i actually did not mention something so what a very important tool that you're going to need is mantras okay and you can either find mantras through watching youtube videos about spirituality that's what i did i just write them down i put them in my notes um and then also Pinterest. Pinterest is great for mantras and basically mantras are just things that you should say while you're meditating. You can say them throughout the day but specifically while you're meditating and it'll help you be able to think happiness, think joy, think positivity and things like that. So when I meditate I normally um, get my iPad, my speaker and I'll go to either a YouTube or Apple Music and I'll get some binaural beats. And basically it'll be um, just beats that are kind of relaxing and that you can just focus and then or it can be nature but you know me I like to meditate outside um, so you know I'll get nature like through that way and I'll still have my binaural beats on as well and that's just what I do and all I do is sit on my floor or I'm outside I'll sit um, with my legs crossed and I will start to breathe deeply. I'll close my eyes, you know, relax my body, get my back straight up, and um, just start meditating that way. And so that's what I'm gonna demonstrate for you guys. Um, I'm gonna end out this video actually meditating with you guys, but I am probably gonna speed it up just because it's kind of like, just, it's meditating it's not a guided meditation like I'm not going to be you know teaching you how to meditate I'm just gonna be showing you how I meditate. so yeah 
so yeah um you guys if you like this video you know give it a like give it a thumbs up i hope you guys subscribe and yeah i will see you guys in the next video and i really hope you guys start your spiritual journey and start meditating and taking things seriously because if you want to be successful in life and you want to do everything possibly that you want in life you're going to have to start and now is a great time all right so i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to be amazing and do amazing things Hey, hey.